This is Anderson Pence Podcast, episode 375 for Thursday, December 10th, 2020. This is Brian. This is Lisa. So what do you call... God only knows. A headstone with a typo. Expensive. <laughs> a grave mistake. Oh my God. We got a lot of, we got a lot of cool stuff to talk about. Okay. Go. I'm just here for the coffee. <laughs> Retro 51, Popathon. This past This past Tuesday. Tuesday. Yep. Not coming yep. up Tuesday. Who? What? Who? Who's on first? What? <laughs> What's on second? Uh, so there were five, five new releases. So the first one we're going to talk about is Who, because I have it here. And uh, this is fantastic. So it's called Who. Uh, it has, I just counted this morning, there are 10 different little critters on here. And of course, the big one is Bigfoot. Right. Uh, so there's Bigfoot on here. He's crawling through the woods or walking through the woods. And Bigfoot does not crawl. He does not crawl. No. Uh, unless it's been a rough night. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's Bigfoot going through the woods. There's also some animals on here. There's a uh, fox and an a eagle. fox, and... an eagle, a raccoon, a cardinal, cool. a, a rabbit, a duck. I mean, all sorts of cool things. And then on the top, there is a little owl. An owl. Yeah. So this is an acid etched. Shouldn't uh, there be like a big foot? And I haven't even looked to see what we have left. Um, if anything, uh, I just saw him sipping through. Uh, Jim Kana, uh, there were two cars. I know Ra Jim. Jim's a good guy. Uh, so Rally Red and Bumper Blue, those were adorable. Mm -hmm. um, there was also uh, Keystone, which was. I like that one. I like. I, I, I may. I may grab one of those myself. If there are any left. Well, yeah. Uh, with um, Mount Rushmore. The faces of Mount Rushmore. And then uh, there was also Stardust, which to me looked like My Little Pony. It was yep. adorable. Um, we opted to it's only... Glow, it's glow in the dark. Sorry, is that it for retro? Uh, there, we... will be, there will be one more popper, we understand. I can't wait. Coming up soon. That's all that I can say. That going to be cool. The first shipment of the new Esterbrook SD in Rocky Top and Peacock. No, we only got the oversized. The oversized came in first. Okay. Apparently, the shipment uh, to Kenro came in multiple multiple groups, and some of it was actually stuck in Alaska, I guess. Uh, so we, we got the in oversized. I, I can't make this stuff up. Um, so the standards are coming soon, but the oversized this is, is here. Um, the Rocky Top is just great. It's this gray and orange and white, and these are made in the diamond cast. Mm -hmm. Uh, material so it's 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 sparkly you know and it's interesting too because at the shop it was a little bit a little bit uh brighter and it really sparkled and here it's you know it, it, it it's a little more muted so i guess it depends entirely on how much light you've got on it you've got sparkle and some marbling depth mm -hmm. it's yeah. just really really pretty and of course they come in the standard extra fine fine medium broad 1.1 or the journaler nib Right. Uh, which is a, a slight bit more, but uh, all steel nibs, gold plated, and um, just really, I, I just I, I like this Rocky Top a lot. So I think it's really a great, great looking. This pen. is pretty. And they they kind of they kind of spruced up the box too. Yeah. So they got put a nice little sleeve instead of that uh, kind of that cardboard sleeve that they n normally well, have. It's still cardboard. Well, yes, but this is like a. <laughs> <laughs> it's just glossy. Um, I, 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 I like that. Like it's, I like that it's not huge. Yes, you know, easy I, to ship. It doesn't take up a ton of room on your shelf at home. A lot of manufacturers, it seems, it seems a lot of uh, European manufacturers, they insist on a huge presentation box. Do you remember the time you picked a pen based on the size of the box? I did. I once, <laughs> I did. I once bought a pen entirely based on the size of the box. He was uh, choosing between two, and they were both great options. It was at a pen show. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was the late John Colton. Yes, yeah. It was uh, Georgia. And John had this funny sign on his table. He said, Omos 50% off. And I just thought that was hilarious. And he had these two pens. He had a black uh, oversized Paragon. And he had uh, a blue marbled um, limited edition. And I said, you know, I, I like the blue marbled. It's, it was round. It wasn't faceted like right. most other Omos. And 
I said, I think I'll take, they're both same prices. I think I'll take this, this one. And uh, he reaches on, I, I stuck my hand out there because Lisa had already paid him. She says, either way, it was the same price. Here's either the way, money. here's the he's money. Gonna he's going to buy something. Over. He's yeah. not going to waste your time. And I stuck my hand out to shake his hand and he, he turns around and it goes under the table. And I'm like, did I insult him? Did, you know, did he not I hear me? Him. What's going on? And he reaches out and it's the, the hugest thing. <laughs> it was a massive it, box. It had to have been, what is that, about two feet long. Yeah, it was, it was it a was good big. 15, 18 inches and was, by a foot. It yeah, was massive for one pen. There was nothing in it. There wasn't a bottle of ink. There was yeah. no polish cloth. There was no booklet. I mean, it was just a box. It was and ridiculous. Was this when we were still doing shows in the Saturn Ion? It, it was. Um, so I mean, space literally was at a at a serious premium. I so said, I said, holy cow, John! <laughs> What's giant. the other box look I like? Said, well, what is? Does the other one have a box? He goes, no one. And, and for a split second, I was like, man, I gotta take the other one because I don't know where we're gonna put this. Because I had also <laughs> bought at that show. I know we're going off topic, but I had also bought this. Um, and we still have it at the store. Uh, a Sanford uh, oh, yeah. spinning ink display, and it was full. Oh. Of the little mini, what are they, quarter ounce yeah. uh, Sanford bottles. And Jimmy had given us that giant yes. online pen display. Yeah, that the German online brand. Yeah. I was the only one who could drive because it only fit behind the seat and I couldn't. Yeah, yeah. yeah and so I was like. Ooh. So yeah, she so picked a pen based on the box, almost. So, all right. Anyway, anyway great box. Anyway, SD, uh, and these are limited. Uh, they're not numbered, but they're, they're, they're very limited in numbers, in fact. Uh, the standard size, which uh, we haven't gotten yet, they should be coming in any day. Um, they're actually sold out at Kenro, so when we get them, that's all we're going to get. That's it. Okay. Um, there will be more. Um, if we sell out of the oversized, there are a few more of those left, but uh, the standard size. So, Sailor cocktail pens. Yes. Uh, we have like a couple left. Anything I want? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> you already have one of them. I you have know. the best one out of the bunch. Um, and the one that I wanted, we sold immediately. So, uh, Sailor Cocktail Pen 10th Anniversary. Uh, we had them up as a set last week. I mentioned that if, if, if nobody wanted the full set, we'd break them up. And those uh, are almost gone. And they're almost gone. Uh, we are hoping that maybe we can get uh, another set. But there's no guarantee. We don't know. There's no guarantee. Uh, there are a couple left. And uh, when they're gone, that's it. I think there's the, uh, I can't even think of the names right now. Um, Give me a color. The green, the, the green and, and clear, transparent. The Opry Ski? No. That's the one I have. <laughs> it's green. No, that's not the one. Transparent? The Mojito, I think we have. Oh, okay. A, I think we have a Mojito, but okay. anyway. Uh, and we have, uh, I believe we have a, um, we have Angel's Delight. Okay. So. Uh, so there's two or, two or three left, and when they're gone, you know, that's going to be it. But uh, if you're interested in any of the other ones, the Opry Ski, the Blue Lagoon, those are the two hot ones, the Black Velvet, um, that was Asian Way. That was cool. Yeah, I like the Black Velvet. That would, that would be on my list. Uh, if you're interested in any of them, please do sign up for Back in Stock notification, because if we do get some, uh, we are breaking the sets up. And, uh, and you'll get a notice as soon as they come in. So, again, no guarantee. I can't tell you when. It's likely to be January, but who knows? Who knows? Sailor Limited Edition. A couple years ago, well, actually it was last year, I believe. The Blue Flame. I was in Chicago. You were in Chicago. The Blue Flame Ebonite. Really a nice, nice looking pen. It's king of pen size. This year, they've come out with the Red Flame, the Cohen. Uh, if I pronounce that correctly, I'm sure somebody will correct me. Um, red flame. It is red, marbled, ebonite. That just screams, ah. It's great. Laminated ebonite section. Uh, king of pen nib. Uh, and it's a two-tone Naganata Togi. Cool. Uh, which doesn't happen very often. Um, the because the Naganata Togis are single tone, single tone, either and, gold or yeah. silver. Yeah, and well, right now you can't get a Naganata Togi in a King of Pen size, right. so even more special. This is it. Um, in fact, the, the only one I think before this, I don't believe the Blue Flame had a two-tone nib. Yeah, I don't uh, But the only one before this that I can think of was actually the, the 90th anniversary Rialo uh, mm -hmm. King of Pen. So very um, rare. Um, we're thrilled to be getting a few. 
Looks um, like they're coming in in January. Okay. January. Um, but uh, very, very nice looking pen. Um, I would like to keep one, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the uh, chief financial officer uh, is going to veto that uh, that purchase. So I didn't. Well, I, you could. I could. I just. But then you'd have to sell a few things you don't want to. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Uh, so anyway, like three uh, watches. You no, know, Sailor <laughs> Limited Edition Red Flame. It is coming. Uh, we're only getting a few, and uh, it should be available in Naganata Togi medium fine, medium in broad. Uh, my recommendation to you is, if you're interested, sign up for all three nibs just in case. Yep. Schaefer 300 is now coming in three new colors. No backup. Schaefer. Anything is coming in color. I'm so excited. Oh, wait a minute. Let's 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 not let's not go too far. We do have matte green. But it's green. It's green. Schaefer is very classic and very elegant, but really could use some very color. Black. Yeah, very black and very silver, silver and black yeah. and gold. And um, a couple years ago, they had that gloss blue in the 300 that was beautiful. They still so have it. It was. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah, I know. It right. was exciting. To see um, a dark green. Yeah, this is great. And, and their got... their thing this year is the black PV PVC trim. PVD. PVD. PVC is that <laughs> pipe. Is that pipe? <laughs> <laughs> it matches your sweat. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> um, anyway, I PVD. don't know where I'm going with this. I go away. <laughs> 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 All right. So green Schaefer 300. This is truly a gorgeous, That's gorgeous great. color. It's great looking. It's it's not bright and in your face. It's just a, a really nice pop. Yeah. I'm not normally a, a huge fan of, of black trim on pens. I'm not either, but um, it works on this. It, it works on, yeah, in fact, I don't think I have I can't think of a single pen that I own I'm sure you do. that has black trim. I probably have something. But this this is really nice. I like it. Um, so this charcoal gray also is a new color with the black trim. Nice, elegant, but just it's a like, little different. And, and, and it's matte too. Yeah, it's, and it's gonna, really is, so it's not it's not shiny. It's it's not gonna attract yeah. uh, fingerprints. And you like the stealth. And then there's the then there's the the uh, the matte black. Now the interesting thing on the matte black is they did, did with the regular Schaefer 300 nib. Well, that makes it easy for us to switch. Well, you know what's interesting though is they make a prelude with the black nib. Well, don't give them ideas. Well, I mean, you could buy two pens. I'll swap the nib for you. But there you go. Um, yeah, and the prelude uses the same nib as the 300. But yeah, yeah so the, the matte black is pretty pretty slick. And you know the Schaefer 300 is a great size. Um, in Chicago, I sold a ton of these to businessmen. Yeah. It's a nice size. I love the flat top. It goes great in a pocket. That Ooh, clip is that. awesome. Yeah, it's got a it's got a spring clip. I mean, it's it's not going to break. Um, it has that nice on the end. Your cap yes. securely posts. It's it's really a solid pen. Brass barrel, good weight, uh, nice click, uh, and it comes with rollerball ballpoint. Uh, the ballpoints are just. Sleek, I like those. This. This is the new cross edge. You got that there? No. You need some help? Can you just pull it? Yeah, you just pull it. <laughs> okay. It's stiff. <laughs> Ta-da! You got it? Oh, there I we go. pulled the wrong part. <laughs> <laughs> I right. broke it. New, <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> new, new cross edge and also three new metallic colors. This would be killer in a Schaefer 300. It would be. I wish they would do, yeah, a Schaefer 300. In this matte blue, again with the the black uh, PVC trim. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I don't get out much these days. <laughs> um, but it comes in in a new uh, the matte blue. Yes. And this one, which the is kind of neat, is yeah, cool. yeah, with the black trim, it looks pretty slick, yeah. pretty slick. Nice. And then of course the all matte black. And then when you're done with it, you just push it, and it's more compact. But we've expanded. Uh, Lamy to include mechanical pencils. These uh, are cool. And these are very inexpensive, just like the rest of the Lamy lineup. Uh, they're bomb proof. Uh, Vista, Safari, all star mechanical pencils. You pull the cap off, there's a little eraser on there. I know, I love that. Um, the Vista is really great. So these are uh, 0.5, and then they're nicely marked on the top. Oh, with the five. So Lamy does a really nice thing with their pencils. They Yeah, that is that is really handy because by the time that you get done using up the lead, if you can't tell or you don't have a tube, mm -hmm. um, 
you know, we see it all the time. People order like both 0.5 and 0.7 yeah. because they can't remember, can't remember which one it is. Well, and it's smart. It's smart for them too because they don't have to print a barrel with the 0.5 or 0.7. Right. They just do the cap and then they just put the, the cap on it. So uh, nice 0.5 pencils, uh, fixed pipe on them. But uh, if you're looking for an inexpensive addition, you already have a Lamy. Uh, you can match it up. Um, All Stars, of course, have the transparent-ish section. It's just just a nice, uh, inexpensive mechanical pencil. Awesome. So we have those uh, pretty, pretty much in, in all the colors. And then, of course, don't forget uh, Lamy 2000. And we have them in some studios, I believe, mm -hmm. and all sorts of things. So if you're a pencil person or you like to at least use them once in a while, you can Check match with yep. your other Lamy pencils. Let's talk about a couple changes to the website. Yes. Okay. So you know, we've received a lot of emails. Yes. No, I guess I'm done talking. Well, no, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I, 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 I just, I just want to preface it with saying we've received a lot of emails over the, over the, I'm done. the last year. Sorry. <laughs> go ahead. About, about, <laughs> wow. About the wish list not working. And so there were yes. some issues with that. Um, most people were rather kind, some were not. Um, <laughs> we discovered quite late in the game that the issue was not actually with our provider, but so much more the template uh, developer that we use. And they discovered the issue, right. and so they released an update. So then, of course, I have to go to our developers who then um, uh, put it into testing. And I think it took about six six weeks to get the, yes. the update done. but. Wishlist now does work Woo! just in time for Christmas. Yes. And I thought maybe we should we should just briefly uh, describe how it works for those who aren't familiar about the feature. Okay, that's all you. <laughs> <laughs> all you want. So, so the wishlist is great because if, if there's something you're interested in. I just go to the store and take it. She so. just goes to the store and take it. Um, but... You can actually put it on a wish list. Now, the, the, the trick is, is you have to set up your wish list in advance. So if you're, you have to be a registered account user. Uh, so you sign into your account and then on the left side, there'll be a little section that says wish list. And so you have to create things I wish my yes. husband would buy me. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Things I wish my husband would buy me, pens, paper, whatever. Okay. And then, and, and, and all of those wish lists, you have the option to make them shareable. So if I want, I can say uh, Grail pens or Christmas or birthday or whatever. Okay. And then I can check a box to make it shareable, which gives uh, gives you a URL that you can then email or share with somebody else. And then they can they don't have to have an account. They can log in and see exactly what you want, and if then they can they can buy it for you. Um, <clears throat> That's convenient. So you have to set them up first. Okay. And then once they're set up, you go to the product page. And then there's the add to wish list button. And when you click on it, there'll be a little drop down. And then you select the wish list that you want to add it to. Okay. So it's a little confusing sometimes if you don't have them set up, you're trying to add it. And then, uh, but anyway, it now works. And so along with that, there were some other updates that caused some issues with the in comparison tool. Um, and I discovered them and I figured as long as we were, our developers were working on the site, the in comparison tool is pretty heavily uh, integrated into the template that we use. Um, so uh, they made those updates and now I have added in uh, over right now I'm I'm at about a hundred new inks okay um, restored some functionality for some things that weren't working some some inks you couldn't actually add the cartridges uh, to your cart if you wanted to it was kind of weird uh, I did find some errors there were a couple that were missing images so we got some of those taken care of awesome. um, and added in pretty much all of the the new inks that have come out in the last six, nine months. Okay. Um, so we, I've added in over a hundred new inks and, uh, and, uh, it's working great. So if you haven't gone to the ink comparison tool, it is a pretty cool tool. Uh, we spent a lot of time of and effort trying to get that to work really well. In fact, we use it in the store when somebody calls and says, Hey, I'm, I'm looking for a, a blue ink that's waterproof. You know, you check the drop down for blue right. ink, check the drop down for waterproof and you can slide them around. Um, and, uh, and of course, the uh, the discontinued inks. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot of discontinued inks in there. And then if you want, you can filter those out. Right. So if you want to find something that looks like Parker Penman Sapphire, you can go and find Parker Penman Sapphire, and then you can compare it to other inks. 
or Lamy Petrol. Yeah, or, or Lamy Petrol, Dark that was Violet, a great color, yeah. Or Visconti Purple. Visconti Purple is in there, yeah. So you can see them and then you can move them around, you can see the properties. Uh, so we wanted to wish Michelle Stevenson a happy birthday. Happy birthday. You going to sing? No. You should sing. I don't sing. We should sing. No. You do too. No. Happy birthday. To you. <laughs> happy birthday. Dear Michelle. Happy birthday. To you. See, you did very well. I know. It would have right. been better if we both would have done it. But well, yeah. uh, happy birthday and uh, hope you had a great day. Next Friday is our company secret Santa oh, exchange. I can't wait. Do you have? I do. Okay. I do. Oh, yeah, you do. I do. <laughs> I have my present and it is awesome. I'm excited. Yep. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we've done this we did this uh, a couple years ago. We didn't do it last year because I was gone. Um, but we all pick names and then you know buy inexpensive gifts, and uh, we're gonna meet in a socially responsible, socially distant manner uh, at the store, um, and exchange gifts, and yeah. it's gonna be fun. I can't wait. So um, I, you know we do the do the like fifteen dollars or less kind yeah. of thing. And yeah. So. Anyway, uh, that's that's coming next Friday. I can't wait. <laughs> I, I may have spent a dollar or two more than I was supposed to. Oh, but it was so worth it. Was it. Worth it. <laughs> All right. Th thanks for joining us. This is our first time we've ever done this. <laughs> Tune in next time for more Talk About Pens, Ink, and Paper. Follow the blog for news, ink reviews, um, Appleton store uh hours, updates, and uh, all sorts of other things. There's not really many uh, new updates. No, we're going to be closed on Christmas oh, well, Day, yeah, we'll and be, we're going to be yeah. closed on New Year's Day. That's okay. about it. Those are the updates. Yes. Uh, <laughs> check us out on social media as Anderson Pens, uh, and uh, like this video and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>